can. As we take a look at our weather today, it was a hot one out there. We started out near 70 this morning. We had sunshine all day, but look at that number just climbing through the 80s into the 90s. It could have been worse, though. Our neighbors east of us in Raleigh were 98 degrees. We are now sitting on 81 degrees here tonight. Our high was 93 and our low was 69 degrees. Temperatures across the area tonight are in the mid to upper 70s in most of the Piedmont. Greensboro holding a little more heat. So does Raleigh. The bigger cities hold a little bit more heat than the lesser populated areas with less buildings and less concrete and asphalt. That makes a big difference. As we take a look at satellite radar, some false returns out there, but nothing real going on for us. A couple of showers were in East Tennessee earlier today. Those have died off now. Over the next couple of days, the chance will gradually come up. It'll be less than 20% tomorrow, right around 20% on Thursday, and then it jumps up on Friday and Saturday. It's because of this front that's coming in. Behind it, there's some really nice air, so we get the benefit of that once that front comes in. But until then, we're going to stay hot. Also, one thing that's getting hot is the tropics. We're moving closer and closer to the peak of the season, which is September the 10th. And you can see what's out there right now is a new tropical storm. The data is not showing up on there, but it was a minimal tropical storm earlier. And here's the forecast. You can see it's forecast to become a hurricane and then a major hurricane by Sunday afternoon with 145 mile per hour winds. And it's got a shot to become even stronger than that. And if you just follow this line, if it were to stay on this line, that takes it into the southeast United States. A terrible trajectory for a tropical system. But we've got other things we can look at too. National Hurricane Center's forecast is based on these models, and they pretty much go right in the middle of these things for their tracks. But we can go out a little farther than the official forecast, and when we go out a little bit farther, you'll see the majority of the tracks have it take a sharp right turn like it did last night. We're going to keep watching this every day. Water is really warm in these areas. The water cools off a little bit right up in here, but by then, if it gets in this position, we don't have to worry about it. It's right in here any of these that would be a concern to us. So let's hope that doesn't happen right now. That would be the end of next week. We got a lot of time to watch this thing. The beaches 91 and 90 with a lot of sunshine the next couple days. Mountains 81 and 78. Good weather tomorrow. A few showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. Even tomorrow there could be a stray shower to pop up. Our forecast overnight is 71 degrees with a clear sky tomorrow. We look for a high of 94 degrees. Today's was 93. Keep in mind our hottest day officially in the triad this summer has been 95. Here we are moving on through September and supposed to be getting more comfortable and we're talking within a degree of our hottest day of the year. Now, as we look at our extended forecast, 91 degrees Thursday, 87 degrees Friday. Friday and Saturday have the best chance for a shower, but neither day is a washout. Half of you won't even get rain, and those that do is 10, 15 minutes of your day. Smaller chances after that, temperatures start to cool off a little bit. 8 to 12 days out, we see a little bit better temperature for this time of year, close to 80 degrees toward the middle to end of next week, and uh, nighttime lows near 60. Our 3 degree guarantee tomorrow's high of 94. My guarantee for today was for the low this morning of 70, and it was 69. And NFL.